All right, my name is Eric Fazzini, and my program is Recording Arts. Uh, my main focus is post-production and video game sound design. So the person that I decided to interview uh, for my class today is going to be Whitaker Trebella. Uh, Wit is actually a sound designer and the man behind the game Polymer, uh, which he created all by himself. Uh, his game sounds are awesome, and he's he did the whole art and everything by himself, so I figured he'd be a good person to interview. So the first question... Uh, what do you see the role of the visual arts in our mass media, our mass mediated world? He said, visual arts are one of the main ways to spread information in this mass mediated world. They are perfect for our current state of things because people's attention spans are shorter than ever and, and images are an easy way to almost instantly absorb as opposed to sound or film, which can take much longer. As for video game sound, I've always found that looking at an image in a game, in a, an image of the game I am writing music for, really helps me get a better idea for how the song should sound. However, in this case, a short film, or better yet, a playthrough of the game would help me even more. Question two: With new communications and media technologies, imagery is almost instantly available. Do you believe that this is having a positive or negative influence on the industry? As I said before, imagery is almost instantly available and absorbable. For example, I can be walking down the street and see a billboard for Halo 4, and I instantly get a picture in my head of what it will be like to play the game. I hear the music, I see the weapons, etc. However, this is only because I am already a big fan of the Halo series. If this same billboard also played music and had a little film of gameplay, would it draw in more people who aren't fans of the game series yet? At the same time, would things like this annoy people more than they draw in? Maybe there could be optional videos and sound clips that people could listen to if they wanted more information. Question 3. What popular images do you see do you see that are frequently rechanneled without the entertainment throughout the entertainment industry? This is hard to answer because of how popular how many popular images there are. Images have a way of drilling themselves into people's minds so that when they see them again, so that when they are seen again, they bring up many thoughts and memories. As a result, companies often try to use popular images whenever, po whenever possible. For example, Coca-Cola ads use images of happiness, the American dream, parties, etc. to show that drinking Coke will make you happy. Are there particular images that this industry has popularized and or created? There are many, even in Every ind industry in the public eye has popularized many images. I don't think video games or advertising or PR is limited to a certain set of images. The only thing I can think of is that video games tend to be more focused on negative imagery, death, war, fighting, whereas advertising tends to be more focused on positive imagery, happiness, smiling, dreaming, etc. Who is your favorite visual artist and what are the favorite style of visual art? I've always loved MC Escher. His art is so surreal and often impossible, but at the same time usually follows many rules of mathematics and physics. I have often been inspired by his style of art, and I think it has a treasure trove of great imagery to draw inspiration from. How has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? Honestly, not very much, directly at least. When I create music or games, I hardly ever think about I hardly ever think of other famous artworks to directly draw image inspiration from. However, I am sure that over the years those artworks have seeped into my collective understanding of art and music and have resulted in a pool of ideas that I can draw from at any time. After doing this interview though, I am starting to think that I should use more famous artworks in my creative process. Uh, and that is my interview with uh, Whitaker Trebella and uh, I guess these are some of my references here. <laughs> 